We are becoming adults, but we have only distant dreams of our country. Some young people in the camps don't think of the future and always want to relax. But what is going to happen when UNHCR stop giving us rations? Even though many students have finished MAs and PhDs, on their certificates is written, Refugee. There is no respect or honor. From looking at our faces, you see no tears, but our internal hearts are crying. He is a 97-year-old man who lives in the camp. He thinks life is like smoke that a puff of wind can disperse. He says in Bhutan he was very rich and that he came to Nepal with only the clothes he was wearing. Now he is poor. His clothes and pots are given by UNHCR. He complains that he will die without seeing his country again. Myself and others tell him that is not the way to think, that our problems will soon be solved. This is where we store the pots in our kitchen. In our refugee camp, the huts are small and it is too congested. It is difficult to maintain a bedroom and a kitchen. It is just like the shed of a cow. Still, we all eat and live happily together. But what can we do? It is difficult to solve our problems. It is no joking matter that after 10 years there has been no progress to solve our situation. Time in camp flows by continuously. People say to us that we are simply coming to Nepal, being given everything, and having a peaceful life. When they say bad things about us, we have no power to answer. I want to be a good photographer. By seeing our pictures, I hope people will not hate us, and instead will understand our situation, and help us to return to Bhutan. I do not believe that anyone should have to face a refugee life. My brother studies in our hut. We are lucky to get the opportunity to study. Being refugees, we have no land and properties. Only our empty bodies and our education is with us. Education is consolation to the old, ornament to the rich, and wealth to the poor. His name is Harry Krishna Rai. He is my uncle. First he had a headache, then after some months he became blind. We suffer from such illness because we have no fresh fruit and vegetables to eat. Though he is blind, he talks like a healthy person. He spends his life in sorrow because he cannot see things that are happening in our society and the world. He says that if we go on sitting in this refugee camp, not only him, but all the coming generation will become blind. 